For consumers who've been holding off on buying a new car, the summer's auto deals could finally bring some relief. Karen Kaifa is live in Washington with the details on what industry experts are watching right now. Karen? Well, Jim Marie, the Memorial Day weekend traditionally for decades was seen as this really great time to buy a car and also a tee off to some really great summer deals in the auto industry. But the COVID-19 pandemic and supply chain disruptions changed all of that for a few years. Now, industry watchers say things are turning around. Inventories are back up and this weekend may have kicked off a really good time to buy a car. This summer could finally be a good time to buy a new car. One of the good news items for consumers is that inventory is abundant. Supply chain disruptions during the COVID-19 pandemic crunched new auto inventories and sent new car prices skyrocketing. But according to Cox Automotive, dealers' new vehicle inventory is the highest it's been since late in 2020. And as dealers look to clear lots for next year's models in the fall, Brian Moody, senior editor at Auto Trader, says consumers have more options. There's a little bit more new cars than used cars, but the reason that's good for consumers is because it offers the choice, the vehicle they want. And also when it comes to new cars, that means that there is the potential for greater incentives depending on which car you're shopping for. Zero percent financing deals for buyers with good credit are more common this year than last, according to Edmonds. Edmonds also finds average discounts on 2023 and 2024 model year vehicles more in line with pre-COVID prior year model discounts. But Brian Moody says deals will vary across makes, models, and location, depending on what's on dealers' lots. Research the incentives in your area because they can vary from zip code to zip code and make sure that the car that you're looking for has the discount that you want. And if not, then go find one that does have a discount. The best deals are likely to be had on slower selling models like sedans and hatchbacks, Moody says, rather than popular models like compact SUVs. And if you've been curious about an electric vehicle, but a little put off by the prices, Brian Moody of Auto Trader says the prices on EVs, they are coming down as well. And depending on the model you buy, you can get yourself a federal tax credit. Live in Washington, Karen Kafa, CBS 2 News. Great info for shoppers. Thank mm -hmm. you, Karen.